You on? You're recording. Yay! All right. I'm so excited, you guys. We have Chad and Jury Kanellar with us. If I said their name right, their last name right. Um, so I'm excited because we don't get a ton of guests on our calls, guys. Um, we don't do a ton of Zooms. So for us, this is a big deal. And we've known Chad and Jury for quite a while now. They've become some of our best friends. They are top income earners, Millionaires Club, It Works Way Award. Um, what other? Do you guys get a Freedom you, Award you got a too? Freedom Award? No, not yet. That's no, not, not yet. Okay, uh, that that one's next on the list. Like, to get. I know you've got a couple, but they are just really good, good people, and um, build with such integrity, and just have the total one team one mission heart and. Um, I'm excited because we're going to get to interview them. So for all of you guys that are on here, um, for the last two years, Chad has put on an amazing men's retreat. So just stay tuned. You do not want to miss it. Um, Jesus, it works, caves, meat, <laughs> and Nerf guns. Yeah. That's all you need to know. So fun. Yeah. So um, Jury, you're so funny. She texted me that she was nervous, guys. So, um, it's funny. We're all, we all, you know, are, are human. And I think that's just so good for everybody to know. So, um, just give us a little bit of a background, um, Chad and Jury, a little bit of your story. Some people may not even know who you guys are. Um, we are sidelines for those of you that don't know. So they're doing this with making nothing off of any, any of you just, just they're just sharing. And, uh, really, Jerry, you've shared so much with me personally out of a lot of the leaders. She's the one that gives me a lot of the tips. So um, give us a little bit of your story, and then um, I'll ask you a couple questions. Awesome. Well, first of all, I'm super honored and excited to be invited to this Zoom, and I would pretty much jump through whatever fire or hoops that you asked me to because we just adore you guys so much. But okay, so we've been in the business. It'll be five years this July. And whenever I first heard about these wraps, I thought it was a total scam. And um, my best friend had said she was going to try the wraps and she was on her fifth baby. She had just had her fifth baby at the time. And so I was just like, don't waste your money. Don't just, just don't even try those things. And she, like all good best friends, she didn't listen to me. And she went ahead and tried the wrap anyway. And she had pretty amazing results. It piqued my interest enough for me to want to become a customer and then prove the company was scamming people all on my own. And so I tried my very first wrap and I had amazing results. So after I ate some humble pie and, um, was just like, my mind was blown. I literally, it was a no brainer for me. I signed up on the spot to become a distributor because I knew that all my friends were going to want this. I had zero idea that it was going to turn into what it has for us now. So when I first got started, I was literally just ignorance on fire. I told everyone that I knew about these products. I shared my before and after pictures with them. And what's crazy is that when we first started with it works, we had just moved or got stationed at Fort Campbell because Chad was in the army. I had no friends. We hadn't even really plugged into a church yet. We literally no family, family, the closest family members were like four hours away. And it was so hard to, for me, because I'm such an introvert, which is why I get totally all in my head and nervous whenever I've got to speak in front of anybody, even if it's on a zoom. And so I had to get out of my comfort zone and go out and start meeting people. And so I naturally I'm going to the grocery store because we have three kids. I was a stay at home mom at the time, homeschooling the two older ones. And my youngest Elijah's autistic and he was under two at the time. And so I was at the grocery store a lot. And so I would just have my phone with my pictures on it. And you know, I would be standing wherever I would just talk to myself out loud. And I'd be like, I cannot believe what these wraps did to my body. Like, this is crazy. And people would be like, huh? what are you talking about? I'd be like, look, look at what these wraps did. And they're like, oh my gosh, what do you mean? What are they? I'm like, girl, you can come to my house. I can wrap you. It's only $25. And I put, I'm not blue at all, but I acted like I was blue when I was out. Like I just got really excited about it. And my voice even got higher. And I just knew that they were going to, that like, 
who can't afford $25? And so I think a lot of times we get in our heads and we're like, Ooh, it's $25 because that's a lot of money for you at the time. Well, we were broke back then too. But if I knew that something worked like that, I would scrounge $25 any day. So I was just confident. Like you can try it. Just come on over. I'll put it on you. It's only $25. And our very first month in the business, we ended up wrapping close to 50 people. Like that's insane, right? Mm -hmm. And we were on a budget, so I couldn't afford to do boost packs or anything. So I did it the old fashioned way. I wrapped the four people from the four that came in my kit and I built value into the loyal customer program and they signed up as loyals. Every time I signed two loyals, I got those wrap rewards and I was slinging and hustling wrap rewards. That's what I did all month long. We made over $800 in wrap cash and went emerald the first what? month. That's one. So you, I mean, that's like exciting, right? Like you go enrolled in your first month, but we wrapped 50 people, you guys, one-on-one -on -one appointments while my kids were homeschooling and Chad was gone um, at work in the, in the army. And so that happened. Then the following month, we did the exact same thing. We stayed excited. We kept wrapping people. We wrapped close to 50 that month as well. And then we went diamond. Um, after we went diamond, I found out that Chad was going to be deploying. And I'd been a military wife for quite a while. And we were blessed and fortunate that in his MOS, he didn't have to deploy. There were times we thought he was going to have to, but he just never did. So at, at, we were very lucky that this was going to be his very first deployment. And so I honestly just got into a huge funk and started feeling sorry for myself. I was barely even bathing after he left because I felt like my whole world had left and I didn't know what I was going to do. And so I didn't do a dang thing with my business for two and a half months, like zero. I didn't even get on calls. And what is so neat and what was one of the, the things that changed everything in my, my mind frame thinking about residual income is that I didn't do anything, but because of all the crazy work we did in those first two, three months, I still was getting diamond checks. And I, I was still making this residual income when I did nothing. And I was like, holy cow, this is amazing. Well, while Chad was deployed, our youngest, Elijah, he was like 18 months old at the time, um, got really, really sick. He started bleeding internally. And I had to um, have an ambulance come in the middle of the night and sweep him off to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital with his life hanging by a thread. And um, well, Chad was in Afghanistan, and so he kind of had to find out the play-by-play -play on Facebook. Yeah, so I had no idea. It was Well, our, our son Elijah had um, gotten croup like a week before, so he was already on breathing treatment, so I knew that was going on. But um, I found out that he had to, you know, in the middle of the night was like just start bleeding like crazy and had to get rushed to the hospital, was having blood transfusion and they had to give him a uh, emergency surgery. And I'm finding out about this on Facebook because there was Wi-Fi in this airport I was in in Afghanistan. Um, I was there with six guys and we were traveling around training the Afghans how to use their um, weapons. So I was doing that and I found out about this. And then of course we got Red Cross involved and um, I'm trying to get home. Of course, any, like any dad would, right? My son's having emergency surgery. I want to go home. I want to go home. That's all I could think about. And the army was, uh, I was at the airport and instead of flying towards home, they said, well, we need you to fly back this other way so you can fill out paperwork and turn in your weapon and all that. And, and so for me, that was like a never again moment. Like when I finally made it home and it took me two extra days to get home than it should have. When I finally got home, everything worked out fine. I actually got home an hour after Jerry and Elijah got home from the um, emergency room and it was like the, the Christmas Eve is when we like all got home together. So, you know, it was cool that we, I was able to wake up on Christmas with my other two kids because I surprised them. They had no idea I was coming home. So the whole situation turned out to be great. But at that point in time for me, you know, we always talk about having a strong why, right? And for me and for Jerry, we never, we said never again, never again will we be in a situation where someone else has that kind of control and power over us making the decision that we want to make. So that became a huge source of inspiration for us. And it even got better because I was supposed to only be home for two weeks. Um, but then the army needed some people to stay back and they wanted me to lead the guys that could, didn't end up deploying. So I was able to go to conference and this was January, 2013. So we went together um, sat through conference. There's about 6,000 at conference that year. We, our minds were blown. They we're diamonds. They put a challenge in front of us. This was like mid January. They said, go triple by the end of March and you're going to get a big, huge bonus. It's kind of like the, the go bonuses now. Right. 
And so we just, Jerry said, is that even possible? And I said, well, did we just saw all these people and they did it. And, and through God, all things are possible. That's, that's what my Bible says. Right. So we went to work. We went, we did everything we could every single day. And from the day we left conference to April 30th was 101 days. And we promoted from diamond to presidential. Wow. Woo. Yeah. And that was a, that was a life change that 90 days in our life totally changed our life to the degree that we've been making triple, uh, at least at a minimum, triple the amount that I was making in the military. So just after a hundred days of all we got, you know, all we had, like, and, and you know, when I say all we had, I'm sleeping like four or five hours a day. Cause I'm getting up at five in the morning, going and doing the army stuff, sometimes skipping lunch. Cause I'm doing calls with Jerry coming home. We have people come over to the house at night. We're calling, you know, it's, it's like 10, 11 o'clock our time. And we're calling like, the West coast, right? California work in the different time zones. Yeah. So we did that, but it was only a hundred days of our life. And it changed everything. It changed everything. We turned the fire on. I heard an analogy the other day. I, I wanted to share this with you guys tonight, but it's kind of like when you're boiling water, right? When you're boiling water, like if it's the first time you ever boiled water and someone just told you, Hey, all you got to do is put the water in the pot and you put the pot over the fire uh -huh. and you crank it up as high as you can. And after a short while, the water is going to start boiling and bubbling. And, 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 you know, if you've never done it yourself, you're just kind of trusting whoever told you, right? So you put the water in there and you crank it on high. And if it's your first time, it's like three minutes goes by and you're like, well, I don't see anything happening. That's kind of like this business. Sometimes you get in this business and you message some people and call some people and you feel like nothing's happening, mm -hmm. even though you've got your, your heat turned on. Maybe you just have your heat turned on a little bit. Of course, if the heat's on a little bit, it's going to take, take a lot, a lot longer to boil. But cranking the heat up. So now you just see those little bubbles, the little bubbles start. Well, maybe little bubbles as you promote to executive or something. But now if you turn the heat down, then the bubbles go away and you never get, you never get the boil. So and I love, I heard this analogy because what we all have to do is we have to crank the fire on high until the water's boiling and it's bubbling and it's pouring out over the pan. Because then if you go on vacation for two weeks and you turn the thing off, it's going to keep bubbling for a while. That's called momentum. Yep. That's the momentum you want to have in this business. So just trust. I mean, this is amazing. You guys are on here with Joel and Stephanie. Could you imagine out of the, the hundreds of thousands of people in this company, you're on a Zoom. You're one of 145 out of like 180,000 people. That would die on to here be on here. With the number one money. I mean, I'm blown away that we're on here right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, is, I'm like, we're on here with you. That's what's amazing. I'm like, well, this is good stuff. So you well. Now, now we're going to fight about who gets to talk and say what was so awesome about like, it. No, no cuz this is what's so awesome I guys. I should have just had chance to, uh, to read me. Yeah, no, me and Chad will do our own. <laughs> guys, did you hear what he just said? They went mock chu with their hair on fire for 101 days and got to presidential. Could you imagine the good and the I'm sorry, the go fast bonuses you could get in 101 days going to presidential? You know, a, lo a lot of what I, what I like to say too to people is like, would you be willing to give up date nights, TV, um, extracurricular activities with your kids? Would you be willing to make sacrifices for 101 days to quadruple your income? If you knew that you were giving up your favorite TV shows and you're giving up somebody's screen sharing, just FYI. Yeah. <laughs> But um, if you knew that you had to give up those, your favorite TV shows and stuff for just 101 days in order to, to have this unimaginable, amazing lifestyle, would it be worth it to you? Would, would you do it? And I, I'm sure all of you on here would say yes, but it's the, it's the fear of the unknown and not having enough belief and faith in yourself that keeps you from committing to the process and just doing your own run. Because the truth of the matter is you could decide right now that I'm going to run for 90 days. I'm going to run for a hundred days and I'm going to give it everything I have. And regardless of whether or not I, um, start signing people up in the first 30 days, I'm going to continue to run just as hard and have faith that it's just going to, that momentum is going to come and everything is going to happen. Do you yeah. need, well, I think I'm like, I don't know how this isn't, I've not seen where it's, I don't know. Yeah, so, I think Samantha, is it Samantha actually has to stop it. Yeah, Samantha, I don't know how you were able to screen share. Shouldn't have been an option. Two seconds. It's okay. 
this happens on our Zooms yeah. all the time. <laughs> Okay, Samantha, you're going to have to jump back on as soon as I boot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. There we go. All right. Hey, we're back. How was your I'm like, ah. Yeah, Joel's like searching. Wow. Okay, cool. Um, so as I'm listening to this, really, Jury, for me is you, you got in not knowing anything. You just started sharing. Didn't know anybody. Cold market. Um, Chad came back, had a powerful why. So really think about that, guys. Why are you doing this business? I mean, I know when me and Joel got in, I had a big why. And that was, I wanted $1,000. So um, at least that was a big why for me. And, and it'll start growing from there. But you've got to know what, what you're going for to do this. And then it was a mind shift. You went to an event and you decided, I'm going to go all in and I'm going to do it. There's... You know, when we talk to leaders, when we talk to, talk to top earners, there's no difference between anybody on this call and Chad and Jury or me and Joel other than we made a decision. And we decided we're going to hear a lot of no's, right, Jury? Yeah. I but we, don't, it, we don't care because there's going to be people that say yes and that are just like us that are looking for that. And so you did a lot of asking, didn't you? You put it out there and you probably got to work um, didn't just post, but actually probably message people, did calls with your team, that kind of stuff. So guys, you got to make that decision. I think that's the number one thing that we're seeing, especially you've seen like Facebook shift a little bit over the years. Um, so that's a question, um, that people have asked is, you know, where do you focus um, your building. I mean, I really know, but where do you think you do the majority of your, your, your work? Well, I built a diamond without social media. Um, that was all belly to belly and that was great. And it worked for us at the time. But when Chad went, um, when he got deployed to Afghanistan and I was home by myself with the kids and I did we couldn't afford babysitter. Like we just couldn't do any of that. So I was like, I got to figure out a way to build this without him. And social media was the only, the only way that I could do it. So I made that work for me. Things have changed with the business page and stuff. So we don't, we don't really use that so much anymore, but what I've shifted focus to now that is still working is um, I'm just constantly building relationships on Facebook. I'm constantly adding new people to my Facebook page. And not only like I'm taking some time to build a relationship with them. And by some time, it could be five minutes to just make yourself known that you actually care about them in their lives. And then I'm messaging them and I'm asking them about them. And you know, what's interesting because this is, this is something that I use when I'm out blitzing, which I don't go out to blitz. I just blitz when I'm out. And, um, and that I, I, I use to blitz on online is that I always ask people, what do you do? I'll, I'll compliment a mom when I'm standing in line at the grocery store and she might have some cute boots on or her kid's really cute. I'm just like, oh my gosh, your daughter's adorable. Wow. And just strike up a conversation. And I'm like, so, hey, are you a stay-at-home mom or do you work here in town? And whenever you ask them that question, typically most people are going to respond and ask you the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so what's really cool about that is that then you can get excited about what you do and you can pull out your blitz card. Or if you don't want to pull out a blitz card, a lot of times I don't, I just pull out my phone and I'm like, you know, it's really busy right now. Um, but I would love to connect with you and talk to you about what I do. And so I'm pulling out Facebook and I'm like, can we connect on Facebook? And I'm, I'm handing my phone to her so okay. that find herself on Facebook and friend request, and then we just get connected. So then I just start building relationship and eventually we get around to talking about what it is that I do. Okay. And um, so that's one way. Um, what is, do you, do you call, do you just, so for you, you're, you're making that relationship, but do you just message people as well? Like yeah, if you, I message people every single day. I so, go ahead. So do you, how many people on average, and I want you guys to hear this because it's probably not just one person that you're talking to. I think that, you know, some people are like, I've messaged people. I'm like, well, how many? Because it's probably not enough, right? So uh, do you have an average, do you have a number that works for you? I mean, I message a lot, but I would say probably between 20 and 30 would be average. Okay. Okay. 
And yeah. there's some days that nobody responds. And then there's other days that it's crazy response. But I'll tell you what's been working for me and my team is that um, the book, aren't you the one that recommended the power of 30 minutes, power of a half hour? Okay. So that was like a game changer for us. So what I had started having my leaders do and what I was doing is I spent 30 straight minutes of doing nothing but messaging. So mm -hmm. that was either following up with old leads that was um, following up with loyal customers or messaging brand new people that I'd never messaged before. And the rule is when we do our 30 minutes is that you don't, you don't get to respond to any messages in that time. You don't get to scroll. All you're doing is for 30 straight minutes is you're focusing on just messaging people and connecting with people mm -hmm. on there. And as soon as you get done with that 30 minutes, then you can go in and you can start responding to those. But what you'll find when you focus 30 straight minutes where you don't have any distractions, no kids distracting you. You're not scrolling Facebook. You're not responding to anything. You'll be busy all day long responding to those people because you, you can like, you can message 200 people in 30 minutes. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. If you just really focus the time and that's huge, huge, mm -hmm. huge, huge. So you just got me started. You just signed me up as a brand new distributor. Lucky you. And I'm so excited when I'm like, Okay. I mean, I'd probably have a heart attack and die if that was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm really excited. Now what? Okay. So what so, are you training your new DTs? Because I okay. liked what you shared earlier. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting hot now. Woo. All right. Just give us good stuff. All right. Keep turn on high. I've got my I've got my notes on my phone because I keep everything so stupid simple. And um, one of the things that we got away from, and I don't know why, because sometimes it's like shiny you see somebody else doing something and you're like oh i'm gonna do that even though what you were doing was working before i don't know why i did that but i was a little add about it but we've recently gone back to this and this is what works it's not over complicating um training your brand new distributor what i see so many people do is they will add somebody to a team page and tag them in 50 different posts or, and it's just so overwhelming to that person that, that is already scared out of their mind after they hit the submit button when they join the company, like, oh my gosh, did I make a mistake? And so what I like to do is I send them their first message and I tell them, hey, this is what I want you to do. Message this message to everyone you know, like all your friends, all your family, your aunt, your uncle, your grandma, your sister. Hey mom, I'm looking for someone to try out my products for three months. Wait, don't say hey mom to all of them though, just yeah. to your mom. <laughs> hey Aunt Pam, hey Sarah, hey whatever. I'm looking for someone to try out my products for three months. I'll even give you my wholesale pricing if you try them. Would you be willing to help me out? Okay, simple, not overcomplicated. So when they say, yeah, sure, what is it? Then I'm giving them like five different choices that they can have. And I'll send this to Stephanie. You don't have to frantically write it down so that she can give it to you guys. Um, but I'll say something like, okay, I still need someone who wants to use the wraps to tighten the tone, to take hair, skin and nails, to grow their hair out, to take cleanse, to detox, to use wow, to get rid of some dark circles or to take greens for more energy and detoxing. You know, like it's just simple. So they, I'm not like, Hey, we've got 30 different products that you can choose from. You can go to my website. No, I'm giving them some of our top sellers and then they can choose from one of those. And if they don't like any of those, maybe I'll give them some other things, but it's, it really is that simple. And what's cool about this is as they start sending that message out, I'm, I'm guiding them and telling them, I want you to screenshot every single response that you get from your mom, from your sister, from your aunt, your uncle, whoever. And I'm going to give you the res proper response back. And I, and I tell them until they sign like four to six loyal customers, I want them to use me in that way. Okay. Because there's a difference between being a sponsor and an enroller. You don't just want to be an enroller. You want to be a sponsor. You want to be somebody who is there to train and coach your distributors. It doesn't have to be elaborate. But all you're doing is teaching them how to gather customers. And then guess what? When they start, because naturally they're going to have customers that want to become distributors or they're going to get curious after they have success signing up those loyals. And they're going to want to, how do I sign up distributors now? And they're already going to know how to teach that distributor to sign up customers because they're going to duplicate it and do the same thing that you did. And I love that. So whenever I first, um, started doing this, which was in 2015. This is what was so crazy. Um, all I'm talking almost a hundred percent 
And I brought in 31 distributors in July of 2015. Personally enrolled 31. That was the biggest month I ever had. It was crazy. And every single one of them got Fast Start qualified. And it wasn't because I was giving them loyals. It was because I taught them how to do their own. And a lot of them were getting 10, 12, 14 loyal customers in their first month. It was insane. I was like, holy crap. I don't have to give everybody two oils to get all these calves. Like I can actually teach them how to do it. And so now that's, that's, that's all we're doing. And we're teaching that team wide. I love that. Um, because it was just, it's just been kind of an aha for me to go back. Cow, you know, when you're in this business and for leaders that are on, you think, well, people should just know, but we have to go back to being like, Oh, if we could just give them a couple things to say and help them answer it, they're going to start, they'll start figuring it out on their own. So whether that be to your sponsor or even like for us, like on a team page, like, Hey, how do we respond? So we can help each other like that. So I love that. What's really funny is you guys can attest to this too. We even do that in the ambassador page, like the ambassador group page. You'll see people post stuff that's like, Hey, how would you answer this? So it's not just for new distributors. You got to understand that these leaders that are at huge levels still are trying to figure out how to answer certain people. So don't think that you're the only one that doesn't know how to answer these questions. And that's what's so great is that you have people to help you answer them. Um, and this was, you, you've said this before. Do you still, do you voice message a lot to people so they hear your voice? Like, yeah. what do you do for that kind of stuff? I do, especially if it's my, my prospect, because if they start asking questions about the hair, skin, and nail challenge that I posted or the wrap challenge that I posted, I want them to hear my voice and hear how passionate I am about the products because I use them myself. And I, and I, I just want them to know that I'm a real person and that it's not just some bot on the other side of the computer. And so I, I'm constantly using it and it's just like, Hey, I think I always started out by saying, Hey, Sarah, it's so nice to talk to you. My name's pronounced Jerry because everybody calls me Jerry. And um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm so excited that you're interested in our wraps because I had amazing results with our wraps and I was a total skeptic turned believer, you know, just relating with people, being myself, not being robotic, just, just like you're talking to an old friend. And um, I think that's why we have so such a high rate. Yeah. So did you guys catch that? I hope that you all wrote that down because um, that's even with somebody just, you know, like I did a post with stretch bark cream. So if they're interested, instead of just texting them or messaging them back, do a voice message on why you love that product. And if you don't know, if you're new, go in and read about what the stretch mark cream does. You can have it up and then read it off and go, Hey, this is what, what this product does. The best part about doing that is, through a text or through a message, you can't really give the three E's. If you are using your voice, they're going to hear excitement, they're going to hear energy, and they're going to hear enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. And if you always start with, hey, so-and-so, I'm so excited, then you continue to go. All of a sudden, they forgot whatever you just said because now all of a sudden they're excited and they're like, I just want to buy it. And you guys, and I don't know if you have this, but do you feel like you have a higher close rate by the voice messenger because you're already like building a relationship or they're opening the message instead of just not even clicking on it? Do you feel like, oh, I got to, I got to listen. <laughs> I, I really do. Because think about this, like whenever you are going to somebody to buy a product, like a company to buy a product, how often does that company respond back with a voice message? You know, they're going to give you, usually it's just going to be a, a pre-written email that everybody gets sent out. So when you take the time to actually answer their questions and make it personal like that, it's really special. It really, you may think that it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal when you you're operating a business, you are the CEO of your own business and you're offering these products. So I think it's really cool. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. And it's almost even faster, isn't it? Than typing out or a copy and paste. And we know like Facebook and Instagram, they can, they can read that and see, oh, it's the same message. So um, I'm glad that you're sharing that because I'm not a robot. I'm very different message. I'll type it out or I'll voice message or something each, each different. So I love that. I'm glad that, that you shared that. So um, I have a question. Okay. Have either of you tried this because this just popped into my head now that we're talking about messaging people. Now that Messenger has the new direct video has anyone tried that yet? I just did uh, on our, on our team page. I just did. Yep. I went live and I was pulling all my, I was pulling different people on and it was awesome. 
Sweet. And it's going to be a game changer because here's what's cool about it. Because you can have somebody else get on there. Like you can have one of these rock star leaders that are on here jump on your live and you can interview them for like five minutes. Like you can put a brand new Ruby on and say, this person just went Ruby and is making an average of $500 a month. And, and then just interview them and ask them questions. I think it's super exciting. I think it's a game changer for our business. Yeah. To be able to I, I think, I think it's an awesome way to even just reply to people. It's just like, they can see your face. They know you're a real person, just like how you're doing with the voice message. Cause we all know that Facebook is waiting videos so much more in the algorithm that I think the more that we start using videos, it's going to actually allow us to actually have so much more capturing. Mm -hmm. So Joel, when you say direct video, you can literally like you're having a conversation with one person and you can, there's a function now to make a video right there and just send it to one person. In yep. Messenger. In, in messenger, they've got a, a video function. So um, it's, you know, the messenger day, but you can actually send it to just an individual. You don't have to just post it on there for everybody. So you see that Susie comments on your post about hair, skin and nails you can click on hair skin or you can click on Susie and send her a direct video. Yeah. That's cool. I have not tried that yet. I was just wondering if anybody else has, cause it just popped into my head as we were talking about voice memos. Well, and what's neat about that. I, I was thinking you were talking about the new live feature, but I do use that feature as well. Like uh, we have our triple diamonds and above in a group feed. And so I can start a live video in there and then it, it pops up kind of like Google plus or like zoom and anybody who wants to jump on, there's all the different screens. You can actually talk to a, a group message, yep. about okay. whatever you want to talk about and they can jump on. So yeah, that's awesome too. Yeah. I love that. That is great. So hold on. I'm, I'm getting to know some back to some questions. So um, if you could go back, is there anything that you would do differently? Either one of you or both of you have to answer that question. Getting started as a brand new VT, knowing now, you know, what you know, um, what would you tell new distributors? Like, I, I honestly, I wouldn't have been so quick to listen to what other people's opinions were about what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have let that slow me down. Um, I think one of the really cool things about starting a brand new distributor off and having them start messaging immediately is that they get to go through the rejection. They get to go through the ant that tells them they're crazy. They get to go through rejection and get over it. They get to go through accusation. Oh, you're taking advantage of fat people and get over it. Like they get to go through those milestones um, quickly and you get to be there to coach them and guide them through it whenever you're setting it up this way and to pick them up and keep them going. But I had a lot of resistance. I had a lot of family members. We had a lot of family members that were like, you're nuts. And even when we went presidential diamond and our check was insane. Um, they were just like, are you really going to leave the security of the army? And I'm like, Do you realize that my husband gets shot at when he deploys, right? Yeah. Like how secure is that? And, um, so we got a lot of resistance that way. And even all the way till we went ambassador the following year and our checks were still going up and our family was still like, are you sure this isn't just going to, the bottom isn't going to fall out and it's going to crumble. And until like, uh, a couple months ago, my dad wasn't even a loyal, like I, I, we couldn't get anybody to any of our family to sign up as customers. And so I would just say, r get your rhino skin immediately. Like mm -hmm. don't get emotionally attached to anybody's decision because at the end of the day, your job isn't to collect yeses. Your job is to collect decisions that yes or the no, you've just got to sort through people. Mm -hmm. And, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I, if I could have told the old me, I needed to sort faster and not worry about what they said, then that's what I would do. I think for me, it would be along the lines of teaching more people like slowing down to teach people how to fish instead of just mm -hmm. slinging the fish out there. So I know at one point for us, we yeah. were literally signing so many customers and stuff up. We were just like the Loyal, loyal, you know, there's a tooth fairy. We were like the loyal customer fairy. We, we were the loyal throw them everywhere, and people be like, <laughs> "I made one post, and I just have five loyals. I don't know who any of them are." We'd be like, "Woohoo!" Like, we don't have time to tell you. We gave them to you. So we just move, 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 just going. And looking back now, I'm just like, okay. And, and what we try to do now is slow down a little bit, just to build people. Because I would rather, you know, recruit ten people a month instead of twenty, and have those ten uh, that we can train and be successful 
then mm-hmm. just our old mentality was kind of like recruit the world, Slam them in. throw them up against the wall and see who sticks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so now it's, it's cause it's the duplication factor. It, it doesn't yeah. matter us anymore. If we put someone in and they're gone in three months, we want to put someone in train them so that they're there for life. Yeah. So, so with that, you know, how, how much time do you give somebody? So I'm a new distributor. Do you have them do homework? Do you have them do anything? Um, you know, tell me, kind of walk me through. We, we totally match their intensity. So we give them um, sp- specific assignments based off of what, where they're at and what they need. So one of the things we, we do and we try and teach is to meet someone where they are. Like if we, if we enroll someone and they're scared to death, they just hate the idea of having a rat party. We're not going to meet at a rat party. We're going to say, okay, well, here's how you can build online. If we recruit someone who's just, they can't even hardly check their email. We're not going to be like trying to tell them, you know, here's, you need to go open an Instagram account tomorrow and go do a live video on Facebook when they're like, what's Facebook, (laughs) you know? So just trying to meet them where they are. And then along the way, just give them what they need to stretch them a tiny bit and not blow. Just blow so so one of the ways to take some of the stress off, cause we don't want people when they get started, obviously Facebook is a great way to build their business. So we always try to get them to start posting on Facebook. And I love this. I actually got this idea from Jade Hooper. Um, love her. She's so smart at the way she words things and does things. Um, but she will basically walk them through what a good post is. Like, don't just copy and paste. Like, I want you to be thoughtful about this. And so she'll ask them, like, what is your current struggle? What makes you angry about your current struggle? Why did you start this business? How's it going to help you? And what are you dreaming about in the future? And I'll send those to you. Okay. Um, but, the, the, but that's what she asked them. And that's the thing she wants them to think about as they're talking about posts. Like, because you want people to feel something when you post it. That's why you don't just want to copy and paste everything. There is some good stuff out there that you can copy and paste, but honestly, it's going to get seen in the algorithm so much more if you are, do it authentically and it's something that you actually wrote up. So for an example, so, so if they're struggling to kind of figure out, okay, well, where do I go from here? She'll give them examples. Like talk about a time your car wouldn't start. How did it feel? What kind of car was it? Dig down deep into that emotion. And then you use that outline. So your car, not, I never want to feel like that, like that, that day that my car wouldn't start. I was so angry because I needed to drop my kids off at daycare, whatever. But you're gonna, then you're going to shift that same post into why you started the business. So I started this business because I never want to feel like that again. I never want to feel so powerless. And, um, so, so that might be a, a struggle or talk about how you're sick of someone else raising your kids and missing out. How does it feel to miss out? Dig deep, be vulnerable, being vulnerable. When you post about, um, things that have happened to you in your life, being transparent, like that is golden. Mm-hmm. See, people don't relate as much to your success as they do your struggle. So. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm so open and I share about my past. I share about the, my history of sexual abuse and physical abuse and and every freaking idiot that I dated on the planet before I met my husband. You know, like I share that because there are other women that are broken like me that are looking for hope and I get to be that hope broker and they, they are drawn to me like a magnet because I share my story, Mm -hmm. but then I'm able to speak life into them and share this amazing opportunity that could change them too. And because I was vulnerable and shared who I was, that I was a high school dropout, that I have a learning disability, like everything. They're like, I'm no different than you. Like if you did this then I think I could do it too. Mm-hmm. So that's why your struggle is so important. Your testimony is so huge. You don't have to be an ambassador diamond to share um, what things you've walked out of because at the end of the day, people don't want to know how you went through hell. They want to know how you got back from hell to hell and back. They want to know how you came back. They don't care how you got there. They want to know how did you get back? There's hope. So yeah. be that hope broker for those people. Yeah. I think every, every person who joins had a reason they joined or they wouldn't join, right? So they had a reason. And the things that, the more emotionally connected someone can get to their reason, whether the things they really, really want, they don't have right now, but they really, really want them. Or maybe for some people, it's the things they really, really don't want anymore. It's the never again. You know, this will never again happen. And I think it's important when we bring someone into the business and as their sponsor that we're really, we're really connecting with that. And we're really helping them understand it. Some people don't know. Some people are like, I just need extra $500. Well, 
what will that feel like when you have an extra $500? What will that $500 do for you every month? You know, is that going to change your life? How's it going to change your life? And then we can talk to them about that. And, you know, when, when we can help them get connected to that strong emotion of why they need that $500 or why they, they don't want to have to go to the store and not be able to get the, you know, I've, I've we've had families, it's Christmas time. They're like, we can't give our kids a Christmas this year. And that's where they go. Never again. Next, yeah. this will never, this type of Christmas will never ever happen again. And when you're able to connect with them on that level, when things get tough, you can, you can remind them of that. You can say, Hey, remember we had that conversation? Here's why it's worth it for you to go through this right now. Because, because you want that. So like I have this picture and this was my never again. And that's, that's where that's one jury sent me. She's in the hospital. Elijah's there. I'm in another country. And I'm like, never, ever again will I be somewhere where I can't come home the minute I want to, to be there to hold my wife's hand and stand next to my child and go through that whole thing. And that emotion is so strong in me that, that I'll do whatever it takes. I'll go, I'll, I'll make a million calls if I have to. I'll read a million books. I'll have a million, I'll talk to people until I lose my voice. I'll go on three hours of sleep a day for a month, whatever it takes, because it's so worth it. Yeah. So just real quick before we move on. So going back to helping your brand new distributors come up with posts, because you want them to post at least once every day. And so but they, they figure out what their struggle is. That's how they introduce the business with that first post. But then here's what you do as their sponsor each day, you give them something that they can post about. So um, you give them things that they can think about. So what about a scenario? Has there ever been a time that your credit card declined at the store? How did that make you feel? What made you angry about it? So you're at, you're kind of guiding them through helping them make authentic posts and if they've never had a card decline, then tell them to write a post based on how they think that how, how someone else would feel mm -hmm. if they had a card decline and how this business could help that mom that's struggling or that single mom that her card just declined at Walmart, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you're just helping them connect to deeper sides. So remember back on the days when it was hard to grocery shop, the days the bills were past you, um, when family needed you, but you couldn't afford to travel. When you walk around the store with a calculator in your hand so you wouldn't go over and your card decline. So I have all this stuff that my leaders kind of puts. I'm like, hey, put all your struggles down here so that we can compile a list of things that we can draw from to help these newbies think about. Like, it's just getting them to, to be in touch with their own emotions. Mm -hmm. But then getting the people that are on their Facebook to feel something. Because you know there's hundreds of people that are going to read that post that are in the same position that are going to be like, I need this. Mm -hmm. I need this. God's been telling, I've been praying for something and I'm sure this is it. Yeah. So we just have to have, they, we have to. So I, yeah, I love that. Putting, compiling something and putting it in a list. So, you know, we've got files and different things and team pages, guys. So, you know, utilize that, that kind of stuff. So I'll probably. I'll share it. I'm still in the process of compiling that list because we just implemented this like literally yesterday. So yeah. I will send it to you, Steph. You guys hear that? Like as leaders, we're always growing ourselves. So if a leader isn't growing themselves, then you know, they're not going to, they're not going to get anywhere farther than where they're at either. So I love that. Um, we're always trying new things too, aren't we? Like, that's what we do. We want to help. So we're trying it and sharing that with, with all of everyone. Um, so do you have them log into their e-suite immediately? Do you have them look at anything? Is there anything you do with the back office that you're just like, you have to do this? Chad, that's Chad's lane. Honestly, with a brand new person, I mean, other than how they can get off the um, commission hold thing, you know, they got to go do their tax stuff. We feel like people that, that need that, you know, that have what we would call the green personality that need to read, that need to know the document library and need to read that, the comp plan or whatever, they'll go through that and find all that. So we don't, I mean, we're all about- I don't know what you want me to say three. because no, I get, them, I get their butts messaging three right answers, away. I'm no. like, just yep. message. Okay, right. so four <laughs> that's exactly it. For loyal customers, we get paid a couple different ways. Action over dollars. Yes, and that was me. So when people are like, what did you do? I'm like, well, I just asked people. I got the product and said, do you guys want this? You can get it as a customer. Or you can just upgrade and make money while you're getting results. So I always just gave them the two options. So I think people think that there's some magic thing that they need to know everything 
before they get their kit or better read everything. And no, you don't. You just heard it from somebody else other than me, guys, that, you know, as top leaders, it's go, you're going to be scared, but you're not going to know what they're going to ask, are you, until they start asking. And we're here to help answer those questions along the way. They call so, it the go fast bonus, not the no fast yes. bonus. Right. Exactly. Well, it's so paralyzing whenever, because some of you that are a little green are going to, you're going to want to tag them and all kinds of stuff because that's how you're wired. You want to know the information, but like 80% of the population, actually 90% of the population is not like you. Yes. And um, so most people are going to get scared away by that. And it's okay. God created you that way to need all that information. And that's great. But you have to remember that you're an anomaly. Did I say that right? Anomaly. Anomaly. Yeah. anomaly. And um, you can't throw up that information on people because most people just need a clear direction and it to be very, very simple. And all they really need to know is that you're there to support them. Mm -hmm. When you have that belief, for them when you're like, hey, look, you know what? I was nervous too, girl, whenever I started. And I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna coach you, and I'm gonna guide you every step of the way. And if I can't answer one of your questions, I'm gonna find somebody that can answer it for you. So some of you that are newer on here, I don't know if this is all leaders, but yes, some of you that are newer, um, if you are not feeling confident about that, then get a hold of your sponsor or your upline diamond and they can help you put them in a three way chat on Facebook. Like if you have somebody that's asking a lot of questions and you're like, eh, I don't want to throw up on them. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Great. Then just throw your diamond in the three way chat so that she or he can go in there and help you answer questions. They can voice memo. That's what I do with a lot of my, um, a lot of the people in my organization I have them throw me in those chats so that I, they can hear me. It's great. It's like a three way call only it's faster. And I, I, I would rather do the three way chats because I can shoot a quick voice memo and, and this, the distributor is getting trained. And I'm able to help them sign up that loyal customer or sign up that distributor. And it's way safer when you're driving. Just saying. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, so I have a question. Do you need an upline or a sponsor to do this business? Okay. So this is great because whenever I, the, the girl I signed up with signed up two weeks before I did. So I, she didn't, she didn't, we knew more than she did just because we were in a couple, well, he was in different companies before we got into it works. And so he kind of understood the layout of the land that we needed to recruit distributors and sign up customers. And so we actually just reached out to our, we, there was like one, two, three people in between us and Maria Napoli. She was a triple diamond at the time. And I just called her and I was like, what do I do? just tell me what to do and I'll do it. She's like, whoever wraps the most tummies makes the most money. And I was like, um, I'm going to wrap everybody I can wrap then. And, um, and then whenever I had somebody that asked a question that I didn't know, I got her on the phone. This is way before they didn't have cool stuff like this five years ago. Right. So I would just, I three-way call her and I'm like, okay, so-and-so is a gastric bypass surgery patient. And um, she wants to know what products are going to work best for her. And then Maria would answer whatever that was. I'd sign up as a customer and I, it was, it was perfect. And Maria was not put off by answering questions for me. I was triple cab to her. So she was making bank every time I signed a distributor. Awesome. And signed a so she answered the phone. I literally blew her phone up. I called her at least 20 to 30 times a day in that first two months guaranteed. She was, she but she always answered the phone because she made a lot of money off us. So guys, if you're, if you're feeling like, oh, I don't, you know, my sponsor quit or the person that got me in quit, or maybe they laughed or whatever, there's somebody here that's going to help you. Yep. And nobody, I was the same. I didn't really have anyone. I didn't have a Facebook group, didn't have the technology, didn't even have Facebook, nothing. Um, but I wanted it. And so I knew with anything you've got to search for information. So know that this is your business. This is your decision and you can be as successful as you want to be. You've got to be willing to figure that out. So, um, events calls, you know, um, did that do anything for you? It sounds like it did. So, um, you know, there's going to be a boot camp coming up in Michigan, a green carpet, um, is that something that you think is important in this business? Oh my gosh. In this business, it's so important to become good at promoting events, right? That's like, I'd say that's the number one, the number one paying skill 
in this company, in this industry is getting people to events, yeah. figuring out how to get people, new people there. Cause like for Dre and I, we were, we were one foot in, I mean, we were dying and we we're like, we may or may not do this long term. And for us to go to conference and we only had a couple, like five people, I think with us, the first conference we went to, but for us and for me specifically, it was Tyson and Shelby Bowman. It was sitting there hearing their story. I was in the military. Tyson was so young. His wife's so young and, you know, being parents in their, in their high school teenage years. And I'm just sitting here and they're on stage and they're, you know, just, they're, they're stumbling over their words and they're like, ah, mm -hmm. ah. And I'm like, how much are these people making? <laughs> and I had my moment where I was like, if they can do this, we can do this. And then when Dre said, could we go triple? I'm thinking the Bowmans went triple. So right. triple. And that was just for me, that was that one couple where I thought I had the me too factor. You know, it seems like a lot of these other companies I was in, it was, it was the people who really truly had, um, you know, they just had the GQ look they were and they had, and the, slimy. I they hated had the voice it. and they had the Armani suits and they're just up there. And I'm like, man, these guys are great professional top, top, high speakers. And I'm like, here we are and it works. It's a bunch of really just normal people that are, that are crazy making crazy income. And I'm like, this is, this is cool. Yeah, this for me, it was seeing the, the people in the top hundred that were holding the mic and it was shaking and you could hear it thumping in their hand. And I was like, oh, she's scared. I can oh, kind of like me still. I don't like doing that kind of stuff. That's not my gig. Um, so hearing this too, uh, this is a great question, I think. So, and usually it gets asked to Joel, but since, you know, I love that I get to ask this to you. Um, you guys have done had done previous company. So, um, you know, when people are like, how oh, is this really work? Is this going to be a fit? Um, do you believe that this is the best company out there? Do you think that there's still that opportunity to get to the top? I think they froze. I hope they heard yeah. me. Well, we never made any money in the other companies and Chad worked them pretty hard. So I'll tell you when we made $800 just in wrap cash the first month <laughs> and then our check was amazing. So yeah, there's, there's so many one percenters to this company that don't exist like in the rest of the world. There, there's a lot. There's number one, there's Mark and Cindy, you know, I, I would put them up against any, CEO. any other CEOs in the entire industry as far as character, integrity, been there, done that. You know, they just have so much going for them. I mean, they just won the award at the DSN where the wow. whole industry's looking up to them. So we have that. That's the, that's the captain of the ship. So that's the first thing, you know, that I would, I would really look at. And then we have the, it's $99. It's to, to me, that's like the perfect amount because some of these companies are a couple thousand. They offer you to get a loan, you know, get like one, one I, was, I heard about recently, it's a savings company, but you're supposed to like get a loan to pay interest on so that you can save money. I'm like, that just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Right. And it's at that couple thousand. And with $99, if you had one of your really good friends that join and they pay $99 and doesn't work out for them, it's not like a, a relationship killer versus if I have my friend go get a $2,000 loan and they, they blow it, you know, now they're like, now I kind of feel responsible for talking them into going into debt and blowing two grand. So we have that. Then we have, a dozen products that cost $30 a month or less, yeah. which is ridiculous. That's unheard of in this industry. I mean, other companies just don't have that, right? And then we have the upfront, the, the wrap cash, just the fact that we can retail wraps so that someone that can barely get in and just needs to make money today, they like can go me. out and have a tangible mm -hmm. product. You know, it's not a service or something that you can't tangibly give people. And we get more than that just in our kit. So, there's, there's just so many things. And, and when I've looked at uh, percentage wise, who's making $500 and it works and who's making $500 in any of these other companies, we are, we're blowing, blowing, every, it. blowing, blowing it out of the waters, all the other companies. Then you look at typically about a third. So most companies would say, okay, the company receives a hundred dollars. They'll pay out $30 to $35. Mark's willing to pay out over half. So mm -hmm. that's just all those little tiny things add up to make this such a huge opportunity that I have friends in other companies that are making 10, 15,000 a month, but they'd be making 30 or 40,000 a month if they were in it works with yep. the same team that they have in another deal. So I, I look at all that and, you know, cause we, we have people come and go and different opportunities come or whatever. And I'd look at some here and there, but it's just, to me, it's ridiculous when you look at all of it and you line it all up. It's just, it works is just incredible what they're doing what this company's doing and it's going to be uh you know it's going to be a top 10 top five so we're not yeah. going anywhere we're riding this wave right to the top so i think still that 
any brand new distributor could join today and could go ambassador. I think that they have the same opportunity as we did when we started five years ago. And there's people that are going ambassador way faster than I did. And I thought we did it pretty fast in 20 months. Well, um, there's, there's people going diamond in, you know, a few days. days now. So yeah, three days. it's okay. not like the opportunity is not there. It's just who's <laughs> grabbing hold of it and willing to run with it. And I, and I think that, so jury, has there ever been a moment like for you guys, God, people are looking at Chad and jury right now and they're like, they're way up here. They didn't have, they just skyrocketed right to the top. It was right? so easy for you so guys. Easy. Um, did you have any twists and turns and any, anything mentally that you had to go through? Did you ever feel anything like that? Yeah. Um, well, okay. So I am an introvert and I'm a high school dropout and I carried the shame of being a high school dropout and having a learning disability the majority of my life. And so when we got in this company and um, we started having quick success just because I was putting a rap on people. I fell in love with the rap. See, that's, that was the difference for me. I was a total skeptic turned believer. So I was 100% sold out. And then to top that off, I put 50 wraps on people my first month. There was not a soul that could tell me that the wrap didn't work or that it was a scam. And it shook me because I saw it work over and over and over and over again. And some of you that are on here right now need to get out there and put more wraps on people. Even if you're building on social media, here's why you need to see it with your own eyes. You need to see the wraps work so that you build your belief in the product. Now, wait to get back to the question. What was the question? So, oh so you saw that big success, right? So yeah. did you have any, did doubt creep in? How many and, times have you tried to quit? Yeah, I mean, did you ever think, God, oh, I'm so I frustrated. Quit, like, yeah, I wanted to quit like a couple weeks ago. It gets hard sometimes. When you're dealing with people, it's hard. Even as an ambassador diamond, it's hard. Um, there are times when I'm, I'm freaked out because my checks went down when I thought they should be going up. There was a time that I was completely having a, a mental breakdown over that. Quentin Conway had to call me and, and basically cuss me out to get my attention. He's like, just stop it right now. But I mean, we all go through those twists and turns and wonder if we're worthy. That's what I was getting at was saying that I'm a high school dropout is because I never thought that God would ever be able to use me in a large capacity. I'm just like, I'm, I'm screwed up. I'm damaged goods. And, um, so getting in this business and being able to just simply get excited about wrapping people, um, was huge. And so, yes, there were twists and turns. Yes, there's been times where I doubted myself and I'm like, am I a one hit wonder? Like, did I just make ambassador by fluke accident? And I'm not going to be able to stay here. I've had times. I went ambassador in April of 2014. Sure. Yeah, 2014. And by the end of the year, I lost ambassador. I lost my $75,000 bonus and I was distraught and wanted to quit over it. And I was so upset. I didn't know if we would ever get it back because we never thought that we would lose it. And it wasn't until February or March of the next year that I was able to get it back. But we just kept working. So Chad and I have had a lot of ups and downs in the business and things that have happened. And I think I lost Ambassador another time. I think it's been twice that we lost Ambassador and I've gotten it back. Um, but my point is, is that it, that kind of stuff, is, it's just going to happen. And it, you have to make the decision that you're going to continue to stay consistent and work anyway, mm -hmm. because when you realize that this isn't all, of, this isn't about you, it isn't about your, it isn't all about your paycheck. It isn't all about um, your rank. This is about an opportunity that God has given you. It's a vehicle a blessing that you get to go and share with other people. And when you finally get to the place where you realize that what you have to offer is something so special, you'll stop feeling like you're annoying people. You'll mm -hmm. stop feeling like, um, you know, you're getting on somebody's nerves because you're asking them, like, think about this. There are doctors and lawyers and people that are professionals that are getting into it works. Why? Because just because they have that amazing job and they're making great money, they don't own their time. Their jobs own their butts. Mm -hmm. And so they're looking for ways to make money. So stop prejudging people and listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is always, I guarantee you, every single one of you on here have been out and about and you've had a blitz card in your purse and you've heard that little nudge, like, go blitzer. And you're like, mm -mm. 
Mm -mm. I have listened to her. No, she yeah. don't. She, she got the rest in bitch face going on. I ain't going over there. <laughs> I just have that face because her life sucks right now, and she's waiting for that prayer to be answered. And you are part of that answer. So how dare you be selfish and not listen? So this isn't about you. So what if they tear the card up and throw it at your face? Just be obedient and go do it because you guys they'll, are they'll tape it back together and be calling you in a week. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> it's so worth it. You just have to get out of your comfort zone. And that's for me, the been the biggest hang up is that I wanted to continue to be an introvert and like hide from people. And now I can get in front of, you know, I've been on stage multiple times with 10,000 plus people and I didn't have to be drunk to do it. <laughs> So this time has gone by like super fast. I love that. I try to do them quickly, but it was, you guys did such a good job. And just hearing that it's, you got into a slump, but really was it just your mindset jury that you just, you went, shake it off, stop looking sideways, do jury and do what you're good at and start asking. I feel like that's what everybody needs to know. Even getting brand new distributor, they don't even know what looking left and right. They don't know that. It's just doing. It's just putting one step in front of the other, um, knowing that we have to just do it. And I, I, that's really it. It's mm -hmm. all mind. I think majority of this is just, honestly, 95% mind, and the other 5% is asking. You know, when your mind's right, your business is right, that's what I took from you guys. It doesn't matter your background. Um, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Thank you, Lord, for that. Because I think, you know, uh, for me, I felt, I feel like a lot like jury, like, well, who am I to do this? Why me? And so if you're thinking that on this, on this Zoom tonight, why me? Why not you? You have so many talents. You just have to get out and ask. And I just, I have chills just knowing that, um, you guys just shared gold with us tonight. You just poured so many blessings onto our team. And I know we're going to get to do that with your team here too and, and share that. And, and know. Nope, I'm hogging all of this. <laughs> oh, we're going to go on the there so then we can oh, go back what? and forth. Okay, but, gotcha. Um, I'm looking at all of these great comments and I'm getting my phone. I'm trying not to read as they're coming through. I'm like, I don't want to be rude, you know, but um, I just know they appreciate you guys so much. Um, and just thank you for, for sharing from your heart and just guys, they're just real people just like you. They just, they ask and they wrap the map. They, she wrapped 50 people. So if you're thinking, what do I need to do? It's put the wrap on people. That's really, that's really it. Did you guys have any last minute? Well, I'm, I'm going to say this. So everybody that's on here that learned something, make sure you go onto their Facebook pages and tell them, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blow up their Facebook pages so that they know that you appreciate them coming on here with us. And then Chad and Joel are always so good with words. I love that it's a, a husband and wife, a power couple. Cause I always think of them together kind of like, it's not Stephanie or Joel. It's the combo, you know? So I think of you that way too. So I'm glad that you were both on, but Chad, do you have any last minute, like anything, that you just yeah, have my last, my last thing is I just want you guys to know that you can do this and I'm going to prove it right now. So let's say tomorrow you go to work or you do whatever you do and you come home and there's a note and your child, your husband, your just whoever you love the most, right? There's a note that says, unless you promote, unless you double promote in the month of May, you're never, ever going to see them again. Is there anyone here that, that could tell me right now that you weren't, wouldn't be sure if you would double promote or not? Did you say your husband? Because you, you might be mad at your husband, so it, make it your dog. <laughs> Someone you actually your love. Your dog, your right? cat. For some of you, it might be your, your dog. Okay. <laughs> or cats. Someone, <laughs> no, you're three cats. Now, so someone you really love. Here's what I want you to know. This business is, the majority of this business is having the strong reasons to do it even if you don't feel like it yeah. every single day, because I promise you, you're not going to feel like it every single day. You're, you, you all know what you're supposed to do. It's just a matter of doing it every single day. And remembering to turn the heat on high, you know, if you want to promote, if you want that water to be boiling, then you got to turn your heat on high 
And because there's no point in just keeping it warm, that's just going to lead you to frustration, right? You're not going to get the water to boil. You're not going to get the momentum. Crank that sucker up. Get yourself fired up. I don't know what it takes for some of you. Some of you might just need to dance around listening to whatever you listen to, right? Some kind of music or whatever. Uh, some of you I might. I the tiger. Yeah, I the tiger. That gets me going. <laughs> some of you, whatever you need to figure out. Some of you might need to just remind yourself in the morning of some things that, that you're moving out of, some things you're blowing out of. You might feel like you're stuck down in the mud and, you know, it's so much better to just explode out of the mud. But what I know and what I believe is that if that was real, you know, if there was a note and you weren't going to see your loved one until you double promoted, you guys would all double promote. You'd probably double promote by the 10th of the month because you'd be like, I ain't messing around. There's 31 days in May and I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to double promote by the 10th. And I think all of you would do that yep. because you would be motivated to do that. So find out what your why is, find out what motivates you, what's going to get you up early, keep you up late at night. Dream big, dream so big that God has to show up on your behalf because you're not going to do this alone, right? Make sure you're praying every night, every morning, saying, Lord, what surprises do you have for me today? Who, who is, whose life am I going to walk into today and be a difference maker? You know, who, who do you have for me to step into their life so that this new chapter of their life, I can be a big part of that and steer their life in a new direction? Who is that person today? And be, and be ready and be available and just go for it. When that opportunity is there, just go for it. Be bold, man. You guys got Joel and Stephanie as your, as your upline rooting for you and willing to help you out any possible way they can. I mean, I'm not even on their team and I can message Joel and within like 10 minutes usually he's messaging me back or you guys Stephanie's have the best, you guys have the best oh, leaders. On. Seriously. I, if I could get out and come back in, I'd sign up with Stephanie in a heartbeat. <laughs> that was funny. Cause I was just thinking the same thing about you guys. <laughs> that was going to be my next comment and you stole it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, so I just, thank I just you want guys. you guys to do it, man. I want you to yeah. do it. And, and uh, man, just there's, it's worth it. It's all yes. worth it. All of it is worth it. Aww. Well, thank you guys so much. So go blow up their Facebook, tell them thank you. And you love them. And uh, thank you again, guys so much. Have a good night, everyone. See you guys. See you guys. See you later.